Praise the Lord. We want to welcome you to Christ Life Spring Fellowship, London, Ontario, the church with the revelation of Christ that brings your restoration. Pastor, Pastor David Jowa here. And our con is contact with David Jowa here at rogers.com. Our service is Saturday evening worship at 7 p.m. on Facebook. Pray meeting Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. And Bible study on Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Facebook. I'm reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 17, chapter 1, verse 17. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness, but unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. By can canceling the record of death that stood against us with its illegal demands. This is this he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing, triumphing over them in him. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At the time, I turn the service over to my husband, Pastor David Jowell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, I want to welcome you into the house of God and uh, to tell you that our Lord is alive. He is alive and he is well. He who came and die for our sins. But he did not remain in the tomb. He went to hell and defeat Satan and his cohorts. And the third day he arose, sat in the baptistry, and went into heaven. And so Jesus is alive. We have entered into a month where we celebrate and look forward for Easter. In this month, we will see the power of the cross that Jesus died on. Not only the power of the cross, but the power of the resurrection as well. He came with the purpose. As the song say, he came and he died. He was crucified for us. But he did not remain in the tomb. The spirit that lifted Jesus Christ from the dead entered into him. And he's for alive. He's forever alive. So that we can live in him and celebrate with him. So, I want to welcome you to tonight's service and 
This month, we are looking at the power of the cross and the power of the resurrection. However, tonight, we are focusing on the cross. We are focusing on the cross. We preach the gospel. And the apostle Paul say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Why is the preaching of the gospel the power of God? Because of the cross, the preaching of the cross to many that perish is foolishness. To many in non-belief, it means nothing to them. But to us who are saved, who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the power of God. The cross stands, symbolizes the power of God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Now the purpose of this message. This message seek to illustrate the power of the cross. There's no shame for me, for the child of God that believe. But we see who believe, we see the power of God to set men and women free from the bondage of sin. So this month as we preach the cross, we are preaching the power of God. Secondly, the preaching of the cross reveals Jesus Christ. And not only that, but the preaching of the cross makes us know him, know Jesus Christ. And we who are saved, we have a duty to make him known to the world. So, we I will say tonight is to make Jesus known to the world. That's the reason why we preach the cross. Thirdly, not only to make Jesus known, but that all believers all that trust and believe in him would walk in the power of the cross. And that power of the cross gives you the power over sin, the flesh, and the devil. I repeat that. The power of the cross gives us Power over sin, the flesh, and the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the preaching of the cross is the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, 
as we go about our daily tasks. God leads us by His Spirit and shows us the importance of preaching the cross. Today, there are many in this world that are not saved. There are many in this world that look to various avenues, hoping that they can be religiously set free. But the cross of Jesus Christ is the only way to make us free. Why do I preach the cross? The death of Jesus is different and unique to all events in the religious world. You have various religions in this world, various beliefs. People have their trust and their faith in something. And they hold on to that something. And many people today have a faith in something that will take them nowhere. That will lead them into hell. But the cross, the cross is the only means given by God the Father whereby we shall be saved. Two, concerning this event, there is not a close second to it or will ever be. There is nothing like the cross. There is nothing that has the power over the enemy like the cross. And that is the reason why I preach the cross. The death, thirdly, the death of Jesus is original. And there will not be a next, there will not be a next death of Jesus or an imitation. There can be many imitations, but they will not be the real thing. So Jesus tonight portrayed on the cross the power of his blood, the power over death, the power over evil, the power over the flesh, the power over sin. And he set us free because of the cross. Fourthly, if anyone plan this event, it has to be God or no other. So God is the one who planned the death of Jesus Christ. You say, oh boy, he's cruel. Oh, no, 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 no. He is the one chosen as the Lamb of God to be crucified for the sins of this world. And through his blood, through his death, he saved us from our sins. Fifthly, it took the Trinity, the Trinity, to implement the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
The Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It took the heart of the Father. When Jesus went to Calvary, the love of God was upon him and upon the world. The Bible say, for God so loved the world, the people of this world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus went to Calvary because of the love of God for humanity. God did not want us to die in our sins. So he provided a way for us to escape the penalty of sin. And that, that escape is the death of, the, of Jesus Christ on the cross. Hallelujah. The Son of God, who is Jesus, became man. God the Son was always in heaven, always supreme, always God. But the sins of man when God asks the question, who will go? Who will go for me? Jesus said, I. Jesus was the one who gave his life for our sins. He was the one that took the penalty. He was the one that took the pain. He was the one that took certain hands trapped at Calvary. He is the one, the Son of God. And when Jesus died and went into the grave, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit raised him again from the dead. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God quickened his body and quickened his spirit and he came on the third day alive again forevermore. Hallelujah. So this plan of the death, the power of his death, his resurrection, is all taken here by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It took the Trinity to make the death of Jesus Christ and his resurrection real again. So those who trust in him, those who believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. When we preach Christ crucify unto the Jews a stumbling block, unto the Greeks foolishness, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For many people, the crucifixion is foolishness. But we who believe, we who are called by him, it is the power of God 
and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. For the preaching of the cross is the power of God. The cross is the only means by which life is produced into us who are believers. Without the cross, without the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, we are forever doomed and will perish in our sins. But for us who believe, for us who believe, that is where life began. Life begins with the cross of Jesus. It took his death to give us life. You only experience life when you know the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You only taste of the life of God when you experience his death and his resurrection. For in his death and hid in his resurrection is life and life eternal. In his death, Jesus conquered death and produce life to every man. He conquered death, the grave, the hell. And tonight, Jesus, through the cross, is shown us that death has got no power over him. And he did it on the cross and went into hell and rose again to show us that he is the one that conquer death. No man before or after can conquer death but through Jesus Christ. And if we believe in him and trust God, we will be spared death and we will not suffer the damage of sin, but we shall live eternally with him. Through the cross and the resurrection, Satan's power is rendered powerless. His forces, his cohorts, his principalities and powers are rendered powerless. Through the cross and the resurrection, Jesus conquer, conquer all powers of Satan. In the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 14 and 15, it is by his death, the record of death, that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailed it to the cross. So the things that had us bound and the sin and the immorality that had us bound, Jesus Christ Nail them to the cross. The principles of the laws which we could not live by had us bound. But grace and truth came through Jesus and through the cross he extend his grace to mankind and his love and his peace and we can experience Live in him. For 15. He disarmed the rulers. He disarmed the rulers and the authorities and put them 
to open shame by tramping over them in him. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ disarmed principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. He disarmed them and he tramped over them. So every believer now can have the victory through Christ and live a victorious life. For the weapons of, of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty true God to the pulling down of every stronghold of Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Colossians 1, 13 and 14, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness. He delivered us from the powers of darkness, from the demonic prince of this world, from the demonic oppression, from the demonic infirmities. He had delivered us and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So we are delivered from a world of darkness, from a kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the dear son. So I tell you tonight why I preach the cross. Because the cross is only means by which you can be delivered. Hallelujah. In verse 14, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. You had many religious people live, many religious people, Gandhi, you had the Confucius, you had all men, Ram, Sita, Muhammad, all of them. But well, which one of them can redeem you through his blood? It is only the blood of Jesus Christ that, that can redeem us and forgive us of our sin. Why? Because he is God. He is God the Son who came to this world to deliver us. Hallelujah. Why do I preach the cross? Because it's the most pow powerful thing happened to mankind. There, there is not another event like the cross. There is nothing else given to us. But it is, it is the cross through whom or through by we are saved. And this is the most powerful thing ever happened to us. Hallelujah. There is no end, end to the power of this manifestation of his death and resurrection. Today all over the world, in every continent, to every country, people believe on Jesus Christ and they are saved. People are delivered from demonic oppression and they are saved. It is only through the cross that we can be saved. The blood of Jesus continues to save, to forgive, and to deliver people. Even right now, I'm speaking all over this world. The gospel is being preached and people are saved. In closing, in closing, I would like to say 
I like to give an experience that I had many years ago. I was on the road walking with my, my daughter. And suddenly I felt there was an oppression in the era. And my little girl cried and immediately urinated herself. I picked her up. She was crying. And there came a hot fever over her. Her body was very hot. And I could sense the powers of evil. I took her home. I held her in my arms. And I said to the, to the demonic force, I said, you powers of evil, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my daughter. And immediately, she jumped in my hand. And she, immediately, the fever went. The hot, roasting fever went. Because there's power in the blood. There's power in the cross. There's power over every evil. And I would like to tell you tonight, I don't know what you're going through, but this month is a month whereby we preach the power of the cross and the power of the resurrection, and it's no fake story, but it's real story. I experience the power of the blood and the power of the cross, not the power of the resurrection in my life. Every day I plead the blood. Every day I say the name of Jesus because there's power in that name and there's power tonight to set you free no matter what you might be going through I want you to know there's power it is through the cross and the death of Jesus Christ that we have life and it is through the cross Jesus conquered death and produce life. It is through the cross he render Satan powerless. I want to tell you it is through the cross today that mankind receives salvation. It is only through the cross of Jesus Christ you can be saved. No other person went to a cross. No other person has shed his blood for our sins. It is only through the cross of Christ. It is through this cross that the power of God is manifested to this world. And every person who would trust in Jesus will be saved, will receive forgiveness of sins and be delivered from the hands of Satan. Satan wants you to believe him. But I tell you today, there's only one way, one way by which we can be saved 
That is through Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. I plead the blood upon all the people listening today. I speak the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. I speak the conquering Jesus Christ to everyone. And in the name of Jesus, I speak live to those who are in the bondage of sin and death, who are in the bondage of Satan, who are in the bondage of oppression, depression, those who c cannot help themselves. I pray, God, as they call upon you tonight, you will touch them, you will touch them. From the crown of the head to the soles of their feet, spirit, soul, and body, and set them free in Jesus' name. By the stripes of Jesus, I speak healing, healing, deliverance to everyone right now. I thank you. For touching hearts, saving souls, and doing the work in the hearts of the people. Now I praise you because I have spoken their word. And your word is anointed and powerful. And break the powers of Satan. Break the plans of the enemy. And bind every principality and power, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness, and certain men, certain men free, free, free tonight. In Jesus' name, I praise you and bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I tell you something, the devil has run. Run, because there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The one who sits upon the throne, he's got me and you in his heart and by his side. God bless you. Remember to join us Tuesday for a prayer meeting on Wednesday for a Bible study. We are going into the second chapter of Daniel, whereby we will now look at prophecy and what God is saying to us. God bless.